Hello and welcome to this Java tutorial. Today we are going to be going over the if and else statement. So what is the if and else statement? The if and else statement is if our if a condition that we have set is true, we'll execute a particular piece of code. However, if it's not true, we will not execute that code. So I'll quickly show you now how to do that. It's a very it's a very simple um, thing to understand. So let's get started. So let's say we have um, an in, uh, a variable int, let's say it's ton. Let's say this is 12. Let's say we can set the time between 0 to 12. Oh, sorry, 0 to 24. So, a full day. Let's, uh, let's then add the if, uh, the if statement. So, first thing we'll do, so we'll do if, we'll have brackets in here, and then we'll just open and close. Just like this. So what this means is, if this condition inside of these brackets is true, we will execute the, the blocking code inside of here. So let's say we have if the time is equal to 12, we will print out, um, we will print out good day. Yeah. Good day. I'll do the full stop. So the way this, so firstly, I guess I'll run it and then I'll quickly explain it. So you you can see we get a good day. So the the way this works is we're, we're checking if this condition is true, and if it's true, we will execute the code in here. So you can see that time. Whenever you you have two equal signs, we're checking if it's equal to. If it's one equal, we're setting time as this value. If we have two, we're checking is time equal to this value. So you can see time is 12, and then we're checking if time is equal to 12, it is. Let's print good day. Let's say then we have another one. Let's say we, so then the next one, the if and else statement. So now we need to do else. Then we do if, and then the exact same thing we did in here, except it's basically the same here, except we just add the else. And it works the exact same way if this condition is true, we execute this piece of code. However, the only difference is it, it will depend if this statement here is tr true or not. So if if this condition is false, then we go into here. Right, then, then we check this condition. So that, let's say, let's change this up. Let's say if, if the time, all right, if the time is less than, less than, Let's say less than 11. We'll do good morning. I don't know. We'll do less than 10. And then if the time is, let's say if time is bigger or greater than, I don't know, let's do not 20. Let's do something like 18. And then we will print out good evening. Now let's set this as as twenty. And then if we run this, you can see we get good evening. So this code does not get executed because time, which is twenty, is not less than ten. So because this is false, it does not execute this code. It goes onto this next. A statement and it checks this condition. This condition checks if time is greater than 18, it's 20, so it is greater. Let's print out good evening. However, let's say we get a value of, it's a value of, let's do something like 14, so it's 2 o'clock. Let's run this code. What happens? We get nothing because the first condition. Is the first condition is not satisfied because time is 14 so it's not less than 10 and then we check this next one we check if time is greater than 18 it's not greater than 18 it's 14 so now we can have the last one we can have else there's no if it's just else and then we can print out siso and we can print down here uh, good day so the way that else works is 
if any condition above it is not true, so for example, if this is not true, and this, then if this is not true, we will just execute this code. There's no, there's no condition for the else. It's just if the previous conditions have not been executed, then we will just print out, uh, or then we will just execute the code that is in here. So if we print this out, you can see it will be good day because 14 is not less than 10 and 14 is not greater than 18. So the remaining code will be printed out. We can have like a couple of other ones. So you can have like else. And let's do so let's do in let's do in here. Let's do else if uh, time is equal to I guess we can do twenty four. Yep. And then let's print out um it is midnight. So now let's say we put this up to twenty four and we run this. See, we get it is midnight. So we can have a lot of else and if statements. We can have a lot of ifs. So, for example, if we have two ifs, it will work, but then they they will be two separate codes. So this this will be one block of code, and then this will be the second block of code. So they'll work independently. So you do there should be only one if in each uh, block of code at the start. You can have as many uh, else if statements as, as you want, but then at the very end, you can only have one else uh, statement. So that's basically it for the else, uh, the if and else statements. And uh, I hope this video has helped.